Extra, extra Sagittarius, read all about it. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading, so it's not a horoscope. It's for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, or I mean, whatever Sagittarius energy influences your natal chart. You can apply these themes. However, you can also apply them outside of you, so it could be with the Sagittarius you're dealing with. There are no dates on the videos anymore because I realize people don't need them. Um, but they, there is a new Sagittarius video uploaded every single week. So please help the channel grow by subscribing to the channel and then ringing that bell so that you can get notified when the uploads come out, as soon as they come out. There's always an extended video too. So these are energy readings. We're going to pull out major themes that are happening this week. I'll keep it as general as possible. But over in the full tarot card spread, we get down to the nitty gritty. We get out specifics. It's much more personal reading. And it also includes a full romance spread. So Sagittarius, Let's get into your energy reading. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And I will say this. When I was like pre-shuffling the cards, uh, what came out was the Nine of Cups on the tarot. So this is happiness. This is abundance. This is a wish come true. So that could be a crowning energy. In other words, whatever is going on in your life, it's affecting that sense of abundance and Probably your wish is going to come true type of energy. But let's see. No, you see clearly now. There's something that you can see right through. This is usually wisdom. A sense of being wisened, uh, being wise, realizing how to deal with things now, how to get through them, how to find a way through when before you couldn't. But this is also like seeing in the dark. So seeing clearly in a place where it was murky or um, hard for other people to see. It's your wisdom is the thing that cuts through. This is also a fierce predatory card, a sense of seeing what you want, knowing what you want and getting it and not having the knight be able to stop you. Mm. So eyes on the prize. This is also Aquarius energy. There's a sense of wisdom here, a sense of knowing, a sense of one's self and one's own wisdom and one's own capabilities to make the right decisions and, and, and do the wise thing. Uh, magic works through you. So you're working on something. This is seven plus uh, five plus seven, it's 52, right? So this is uh, seven, something that you're creating, something you've been whittling away and working on, maybe finally seeing through the magic. But I, th I almost feel like this is wisdom and magic working together. It could just be getting advice or getting wisdom from spirituality or like readers or something like that uh seeing the wisdom in the magic seeing the wisdom in the unknown in the unseen remember the things that were hard to see this is like seeing the wis seeing wisdom or gaining wisdom through things that are hard to see and knowing that th that it's almost like you're seeing those things that ugh, the untangible seeing what wasn't there but was always there. In other words, like that manifestation and magic is real. Or let's 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 translate that into the 3D. It was those things that were unseen that were the most important things at play. This is uh, looking underneath the surface. So going deeper and finding something that was going on or happening. Like I said, seeing. It's not seeing it's yeah, it's like it's like finally seeing the strings or strands that keep everything together because you're looking at the underbelly of something. Oh, shoot. This is like spotlight. Oh, Sagittarius, what are you up to? Are you like investigative reporting and stuff? Because this is like seeing the underbelly, seeing the seeing the strings of the marionettes, like seeing what was pulling who, what, seeing what was pulling the strings, getting a glimpse behind the scenes, behind stage, seeing how the magic works or how it's really done. Now, this could be as simple as you becoming like an expert in your field, getting the nitty gritty and understanding how things really work. But this could also be like finally like realizing or seeing or understanding like a sense of how things really work, quote unquote, or, or something that's really going on and lighten it on fire bring your ideas to life now maybe you've been working on something a new project or a new like creative endeavor a sense of diving in deep and understanding the nitty-gritty of what goes on underneath the surface to create something but it could be also exposing things or understanding because 
Hmm, four plus, two plus four, this is seat 24. Four, two plus four is the energy of six. So it could very well be understanding finally how love works. Like the spark of, cause six is the energy of love, how connection works or really understanding what it takes to, to, um, to make connection happen. Uh, spirit has a plan, divine timing. This is destiny at play, a sense of spirit, uh, divine timing that's and that's your central energy you could have just gotten all of a sudden just got an inspiration no i just feel like you're you're wise to something you have this this objective perspective you you see and understand and know it's like an aha moment mm, let's keep going Spirit has a plan. It's almost like you've seen the fabric of life itself. I don't, I don't know if you guys are tripping out there. I don't know what you're doing to keep yourself entertained when you're in a quarantine. If LSD was a part of it, I don't know. I'm just saying it's almost like you're, you're privy now to the actual fabrics and strings that pull life. This could also be, I'm going to say, a really quick, shallow interpretation of this. Could be that you're diving in deep and you're starting something new with a Cancerian. Good luck coming up from the deep with that one, man. You better be ready to stay in the deep for good. I'm just telling you it right now. Um, but I just feel like there's more. And there's definitely more to the story. Overcome any obstacle. Energy of five. There's a big change. Something that you had to overcome. An obstacle that you had to get over. But this is also Taurus energy. Like almost loving the challenge. Really just like taking the bull by the horn and loving the challenge. And that's why you can get, get through this, Sagittarius. Because it excites you. It's a challenge that excites you. Or it's a person that excites you. Yeah, you're letting your defenses down. This is also a card of wisdom, also Aquarius energy, a sense of you've been here before, you know this very well, you have experience somehow with this and you're letting your defenses down, literally like, like showing your, oh my God, I get it. You're showing your underbelly. You're showing your sensitive areas. You're letting yourself be seen. You're letting yourself be exposed so that you can be noticed by the powers that be so you can get through and get somewhere. And you, you, you're, this is a calculated risk. This is strategy. You're not just like showing your underbelly for no reason. You, you, it's, you, you know somehow that it's the right time. You feel somehow that it's the right time. Remember, it's like dealing with the underbelly, seeing the magic that's really going on when somebody makes themselves vulnerable to you or when you make yourself vulnerable to somebody else or a situation or a circumstance. Could be like when you're vulnerable when you audition for something or when you try something for the first time. It doesn't have to be a relationship. But this is definitely letting yourself be completely and totally exposed. But loving it. Loving the challenge. Just... <laughs> Okay, I don't know what you guys are up to. This is going to be an interesting tarot spread. I can promise you that, because lots of details here. We're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you're not playing around. This is it. Be playful. You're not playing around. This is serious to you. You take this extremely seriously. And maybe because of how seriously you take it is why you're letting yourself... But once again, this is diving in deep and looking underneath the surface at the circumstance or situation. And it could also be feeling suffocated, feeling drowned, feeling oppressed, feeling pushed down. Like a sense of being forced to dive in deep without really wanting to. Interesting. Hold on, hold on. I want to get the full story. Be playful. Time for a beginner mind. Nope. You're not. You're way beyond a beginner mind. You just want to get through this. You want to plow through it. 
or you want to plow into it. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're not playing. It's almost like you've already made a decision. You see your future. You see into the future. You see into the distance. Ooh. This is awakening. Awakening to people who are pulling the strings. Like finally seeing the Mary, like what remember I said? Finally seeing the puppeteer. Realizing, coming out of the dark. Being able to see in the dark, see through in the, all of this is like awakening. You could be dealing with very scorpionic energy. Something that's been bothering you, something that's been getting you sick, something that's been, um, something that's been uh, bringing everybody down, right? Finally realizing what's going on. Ooh, whoa. You having to be the radio, you having to be the one that speaks out or talks about something. It's like you're, it's, I swear to God, I keep getting 11, 11. Stop. Stop. This is all about awakening and helping the world to awake. I have five, six, five, five, eight change, a complete change that's destined, pushing you into the circumstance of you've got to say something. You've got to do something. You have got to speak up. You've got to speak out because you've seen it. I don't even care if it's at work and you caught your boss banging the secretary. There's a sense of something that you were privy to, something Sagittarius that you saw, you have to spotlight. You have to bring out into to the open you have to be like psh, shock the world by bringing this wisdom to it hold on because i want to finish the shuffle and there's a strategy here there's a strategy to 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 maybe even delivering these words this in the cards that just came out what is this there is always enough. No, somebody has been very, very greedy. Somebody has been very greedy, over-consuming the gluttony. This is an over-consuming over energy of draining energy or, or your emotions are all... No, no, draining. This is draining. Draining people emotionally, draining love from the world, squashing love, and taking too much. Like eating too much, gorging too much, having too much. This is gluttony exposed. Hold on. I'm telling you, Spotlight. You saw that movie, Spotlight? You saw it? That's what I'm talking about. It's with Michael Keaton and Mark Ruffalo. It's all about this, uh, the Boston Globe and the whole, uh, an investigative reporter team. <laughs> Not like investigative reporting really exists anymore, but it was all about them and how they completely exposed the chat the catholic church like the catholic church worldwide network of hiding and reassigning priests that they knew had been accused of pedophilia they knew the priests were guilty of it and they just reassigned them to different churches and they they proved it so that spotlight go rent it because it's a really good movie but that's what i'm talking about this is like spotlight you saw something in the dark you decided intentionally to go snooping around because you had a hunch that something was happening, something was going on, and you just don't expose the underbelly. Could have something to do with Scorpio, but this is also a sense of somebody somebody rolling in some shady you-know-what. Some, some very, like, Scorpionic can get into those really shady, like, niche fetishes type of energy. It's like, all of a sudden, bringing it to light. Tuning into that frequency so that you could connect it to another tower and broadcast it on a major news network. Because you saw the greed, yo. You saw the greed. You spotlighting somebody. Ooh. Let me say this. I would not want to have Sagittarius working against me. Today, if this was a cross watcher, I'd be scared. Because Sagittarius is about to blow you up. Sagittarius is about to expose all this corruption. Sagittarius is about to blow it up. Because there has been something that has been sucking and siphoning and greedily taking and you got wind of it. Like I said, it could be something very personal to you too. It could be, oh, oh, I just caught my, my spouse in the cookie jar again. And oh, that's where our money's been going. To somebody's porn addiction or something like that. All of a sudden, and, but you've been looking for it. The thing is, there is intent behind this. You did it intentionally. 
because you knew that you had the in, you knew that you had the ability and maybe even the sleight of hand to be able to get in there when other people couldn't. Oh, this is so juicy, dude. I need to understand and know. Oh, I know you want to know. Let's go over to the extended. I want to pull out some tarot. We'll also get into your love reading eventually too. Sagittarius, I'll see you guys over there.